Warning. Always wear proper personal protective equipment when operating Appion products. Appion's recovery machines are fully field serviceable for quick and easy repairs on the job site. Replacing the power switch, motor start capacitor, motor start relay, and pressure switch are simple repairs that can be completed in a few minutes with the proper tools and knowledge. The EL5120 is the power switch for the G5 twin and G1 single refrigerant recovery machines. For proper replacement, follow the step-by-step -step instructions. Here is a list of necessary tools for the replacement. Ensure the machine is disconnected from any power source before performing electrical repairs. Begin the repair by removing the case from the machine. First step-by-step -step on casing instructions, refer to these specific repair videos. Take note of the wire routing. It will be important to remember this for proper installation. Use a flathead screwdriver to remove the wires from the power switch. Be sure not to pull on the wire itself. Use a flathead screwdriver to push in the two tabs on both sides of the switch. Push the old switch out of the panel. Locate the new switch and ensure it is in the off position. When looking at the power switch, ensure the off position is on the left and insert the new switch into the panel. Confirm the switch is positioned with the off label to the left hand side when facing the front of the panel. Connect the red wire to the terminal nearest to the pressure switch, motor wire number three to the middle terminal, and the black wire from the power cord to the final terminal. Finally, place the machine back into its case. First step-by-step -step casing instructions. Refer to these specific repair videos. The EL5028 and EL5034 are the 115 and 230 volt motor start capacitors for the G5 twin and G1 single recovery machines. Here is a list of necessary tools for the replacement. Ensure the machine is disconnected from any power source before performing electrical repairs. Begin the repair by removing the case from the machine. First step-by-step -step on casing instructions, refer to these specific repair videos. With a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the strap holding the capacitor in place. Take note of the capacitor position and wire routing. It will be important to remember this for proper installation. Remove the capacitor strap. Detach the electrical tape by gently peeling it back, or use a utility knife to lift the edge. Remove the cap from the body to reveal the two screws. With a Phillips head screwdriver, loosen the two screws holding the wires onto the capacitor until they are removed. Remove the old cap from the wires and replace it with a new cap. Next, install the new capacitor by sliding the wire terminals into the terminal slots and tightening the locking screws with a Phillips head screwdriver. The wires can go to either position. Slide the cap over the capacitor body and use electrical tape to secure it. Finally, screw the capacitor onto the underside of the compressor body by using a Phillips head screwdriver. Reassemble as shown and ensure the wires are routed along the compressor. Place the machine back into its case. First step-by-step -step casing instructions. Refer to these specific repair videos. The EL5017 and EL5027 are the 115 and 230 volt motor start relays for the G5 twin and G1 single recovery machines. Here is a list of necessary tools for the replacement. Ensure the machine is disconnected from any power source before performing electrical repairs. Begin the repair by removing the case from the machine. First step-by-step -step on casing instructions, refer to these specific repair videos. Use a flathead screwdriver to pry on the spades to remove the wires from the relay. Be sure not to pull on the wire itself. 
Take note of the wire routing. It will be important to remember this for proper installation. Remove the two mounting screws holding the relay on the compressor housing with a Phillips head screwdriver. Screw the new relay onto the compressor housing, ensuring the electro terminals are facing the front of the machine. Start with the black pressure switch wire and place it in the lone terminal on the output side of the machine. Then, place the wire labeled 2 in the terminal on the input side closest to the front of the machine. Place the wire labeled 1 in the remaining terminal. Finally, place the machine back into its case. First step-by-step -step casing instructions, refer to these specific repair videos. The EL5030 is a 550 PSI pressure switch for the G5 twin and G1 single refrigerant recovery machines. Here is a list of necessary tools for the replacement. Ensure the machine is disconnected from any power source before performing electrical repairs. Begin the repair by removing the case from the machine. First step-by-step -step uncasing instructions. Refer to these specific repair videos. Start by removing both wires from the relay. Use the 916 inch hex fitting to loosen the pressure switch assembly. Gently pry the face blade away from the pressure switch and continue to unscrew until it is released. Locate and apply a small amount of thread locker on the threads of the new pressure switch. Take the new pressure switch and screw it into the manifold. Use a 916 inch wrench to ensure it is securely tightened. Reattach the wires to the pressure switch as shown. Finally, place the machine back into its case. First step by step casing instructions, refer to these specific repair videos. After completing these repairs, be sure to perform a diagnostic test on your recovery machine to ensure it is functioning properly. You can purchase all parts and service kits on our website at the link in our description.